For every memory that we recall, there's a hundred more that we forget. You see, I'm a photographer, and I've been a photographer for the past 15 years, and I know what it's like to store my memories in a device like an external hard drive, whether it be music, whether it be videos, whether it be audio, or my favorite, photographs. So the one thing that I love about an external hard drive is I can store my memories. My memories of my mom graduating college, to my friends getting married, baby showers, and all the other moments in between but also to the final moments, the last goodbyes, to my grandmother, my uncle, and my cousin. These, this external hard drive helps me keep those memories forever and all the other memories in between. But 15 years is a very long time before Murphy's Law kicks in. And Murphy's Law did a number on me. You see, this external hard drive right here didn't die because of fire, water, or even theft. It was by accident. You see, I plugged this in before, and it worked. And everything was fine until one day, it stopped. And this happened. I invested 15 years, 15 years, and I decided to plot out its existence by burying my memories in a digital box like this. It made no sense to me. Anger filled inside of me. Sadness filled inside of me. But then logic kicked in and said, remember a day before, you stored all of these memories in the cloud. So what is the cloud? Well, I met a lady named Fran, and we discussed what the cloud was. And I told Fran the cloud is a collection of digital content and services that are accessible from any device. What does that mean? Well, if you have a smartphone, a tablet, or a computer, you're able to access all of the files across all of your devices. Another thing, too, that you can do is collaborate in the cloud. So services like Microsoft's OneDrive, Google's Google Drive, Apple's iCloud, or even Dropbox, you can store your content. You can share it with somebody else, work on a document, work on a presentation, or better yet, share a trip with your friends, with your family. Not only can you store those documents in the cloud, but they can store those documents as well. But then, friend, had a concerned look on her face. She folded her arms, looked at me, and said, well, the cloud is not safe. I heard the cloud can be unhackable. I told Fran, the cloud is safe. And the cloud can be hacked, yes, but companies have uh, security measures in place to make sure that doesn't happen. So one of the first line of defense for any cloud company is your password. And we may have used a simple password before in our lives, and if you use this password right here, don't be ashamed. And the password is Grandma1. You see, we might have used a password like Grandma1 to access our data. But if you know something about a simple password like Grandma1, a hacker has that same type of password because they have a grandma too. <laughs> so, companies know this. So they have to be smarter than the hacker. 
And the way they do this is by two-step authentication or multi-factor authentication. So once you put in your secure password like Grandma1, you might be prompted to add a secondary code that you might get through a text message or you might get through an authenticator app. You see, I told Fran about the safety of the cloud just so she can be reassured that the cloud is safe, that she can store her moments, her memories in the cloud, just like I have. You see, the cloud is not a scary thing. The cloud is our future. And in a way, the cloud creates a digital will for the next generation. Imagine storing your moments, your memories in the cloud so you can not only just store, not only can you create, but also you can share those moments. And speaking of moments, I want to take the time to remember this moment and look at all of you. But also, too, I want to store this moment in the cloud. So if you don't mind, I'm about to take a selfie. And I want you all to smile and know that you guys were the one to help me store this memory in the cloud forever. Thank you.